Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was in conversation with uh, one of the subscribers recently and we were talking about colour selection and I did a bit of research and I came up with something that's actually surprisingly simple. So here's how we do it. Go to the layer here, hit Ctrl J to duplicate it. Turn off the layer underneath because what we're going to do next is go down to Live Filters here and put in a procedural texture. And then we're going to play around with this. If I put plus here, it adds a row here and then this controls whether it's red, green, blue or alpha, which is transparency. At the moment it starts off with zero, so it's effectively turned off the reds because R is there. So I turn that off there, I put on A, you know, click A so that's selected. And that's zero, so that means nothing is selected. Because if I put one in there, it'd be everything. But I also could put R in there, and that now selects red, so I'm already doing some form of selecting. And I could say, if I said I had minus G, minus B, so take the reds, subtract the green, and subtract the blue. And now I've got back this amount here. So I can do all kinds of interesting things here, and what I'm going to do is it kind of an invariant on that, which is I'm going to go down here to put in some variables I can use. So I'm going to put in 3 here, I'm going to call this RE for red, GN for green, you can't use GR because it's an internal variable, and BL for blue. So this is red, green, and blue. And so I'm going to change this formula up here, red, RE times the original red colour. This is for every pixel, it's just in that channel. Ta plus GN times capital G, plus, unsurprisingly, BL times capital B. Starts off, it all disappears because these are all at zero, but now I can turn red up here, so it's, se it's selecting the reds. And then I can play around with the greens, I can put them in, but I can also take them out. And similarly with blues. So if you turn up one and turn down the others, you get quite a very good selection of a colour here, but you can play around with it quite significantly. One more thing that you can do with this is I can add another layer here. I do the R, which is real, which in other words fractions, and let's call that SG for the strength. And then we'll multiply everything here times this and we put that in brackets. We multiply it by everything. Zero means it's, it's down here, but if I turn this up here, or I can go over here and do the mouse wheel over this, I can see I can just effectively increase the effect. So if I, if I turn the green and the blue down, then there's nothing more happening here, but if I turn this up a bit, you can see the amount of variation you're going to get within this. You can also, when doing this, and often when you've got this, you know, it goes can be quite significant between whole numbers here. So if you hold down the control key and roll the mouse wheel, then it does it one tenth at a time. You can even hold down the shift key, key and it, it actually chunks ten at a time. That's the same happens with any variable but it lets you add more control to this. So you can actually play around with this quite a lot and have different selection effects there. So, they, so you, you selected the greens. What you can do with this as well, very, very simply, um, what you normally do is you turn this layer on underneath here so you can see it both and then put some kind of control on the top here. But what you can, another thing you can do if you go back to this, is if I turn the red, green and blue on, there. What I've done here, if I turn this off, you see I've made effectively created a, a mask for this. And if you rasterize that, then you can you can make a mask. So let's just go back to this, and I can put a control in, such as just say curves, just to show what you can do, because I can now turn this up and down. But if I turn the background on, you can see that as I turn this up and down, it's just the selected layer. And I can always go back then to this and play around with this and adjust what is actually being selected. Anyway, that's it. Um, very simple, but surprisingly powerful. 
Thank you very much for watching.